I think the first place where people will feel climate change impact is on their place. I grew up in Hong Kong. Food and farming was a big part of my family. Cooking was a big part of my family. And what I found is the system that we used to do it is just not sustainable at all. After burning fossil fuels, livestock production is the single biggest driver of climate change. And demand is just skyrocketing. And our product is based on that demand. The choice of ground pork initially is because it's the most commonly consumed protein in the world. What Fork and Good is doing is trying to find a lower impact way of growing that same meat. We're starting off with meat cells and we're ending up with meat cells. Same type of texture, same taste, the same nutrition. So cultured meat is meat in every sense of the word. The issue with cultured meat is not that we don't know how to grow cells already. The problem is scaling it up and doing it cheaply. The product itself is something we've been eating forever. It's the process that we're innovating on. So at scale, cultured meat can reduce carbon emissions by up to 50% and reduce the amount of land use by approximately 70%. I think there is nothing more human than food. <laughs> to be able to eat some of those favorite foods and have it not come with that compromise of thinking about your health or the planet's health, that would be the dream. <laughs>